Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, it is a true honor to have the Dean of Marshall School of Business here in Indonesia for the very first time. Your presence has making this event more special. Let us welcome to the stage Dean Geoffrey Garrett. Good afternoon, and of course we have a fantastic MC, but I'm afraid I have to start with a correction. I've only been Dean of the Marshall School for three years, and I think everyone will remember that there was no travel for the first 18 months during COVID. But I think I've been here not once, not twice, but three times as Dean of the School uh, because of just how important Indonesia and our alumni presence and our current students are here. Um, it's, it's a real honor for me to be here with my colleagues from Los Angeles to be part of this extraordinary event. Um, I think it's a great balance between intellectual content and what I'm sure is going to be a fantastic party later tonight. Um, let me start with an observation that I've been challenging uh, some people to correct if it's not correct uh, in the last couple of days when I've been in Jakarta. So my observation is that I believe this event is the largest ever single USC event in Indonesia. And I know that that's only possible because of the power of ALSI. And let me tell you that ALSI has become very, very dear and near to my heart and not only because it sounds a little bit like Aussie, and I am an Australian, um, but I just admire this organization so much. I'm going to make another uh, superlative statement that I just think is true. I've had the honor to work in lots of great universities around the world in the last 30 years, and most universities think they have the best alumni base of among their peers. Now, I think you all know that USC, the Trojan family, is genuinely unique. But if there's something above unique, it would be the power of ALSI in Indonesia. I think it's the single most impressive alumni club of a, a university that I've ever been associated with. And why, why is it so impressive? Well, the first thing is scale. The fact that there are more than 1,500 members of this uh, institution is pretty impressive, but it's not only scale. Everywhere I look, I see superb corporate governance in ALSI. We have executives, we have transitions in presidents, we have management committees. I think we have not one but two boards. This is an incredibly well-run organization and the thing that permeates everybody is their desire to be together and their desire to be together as Trojans in Indonesia. So if I, if I took my um, hat off, I might not be able to get it on. So I will just have to metaphorically say I tip my hat to ALSI because it's just such an extraordinarily impressive organization. And I should also make clear something that I think most people in the room know. This event is an ALSI event. I'm just so happy to have been invited to be part of it. So I want to start this event by both congratulating ALSI but also thanking everybody associated with it, led by, in this case, the, the sponsors, the board directors, the committee for this summit and reunion. I want to thank and congratulate you for the incredible work that you have, and I know, I know how much work you had to put into this event to make it to where we are today. So, Let's pivot a little bit to Indonesia. Indonesia is very important to the Marshall School, it's very important to USC, and it's also really important to me personally. 
You know, Indonesian students have been coming to Marshall for more than 50 years. I think at some point we should do a parlor game of who's the earliest graduating alum in the room, and maybe we can, we can give some prize for that. But it's at more than 50 years ago, which is quite extraordinary, I think, when, you, when I think about the, the arc of history, um, that the, this relationship between uh, USC and Indonesia goes back more than 50 years. Um, if you think about where we are today, there are currently 80 Indonesian students at USC, and at Marshall, rather, uh, multiples of that at USC, and the balance of our students has tilted in favor of undergraduates away from graduate students at the Marshall School. Um, but I think, you know, the ambassador, uh, I'm, I thank the ambassador for encouraging people in Indonesia to think about great American educations, but I know it's equally important for our students to experience Indonesia. And I'm so pleased that just in the past year, we have had a group of MBA students and a group of undergraduates come to Indonesia to experience the country firsthand because I don't think you can get a feel for Indonesia by reading a book or watching a video. The only way to do it is to be here in person. And I am personally very committed to creating more opportunities for our students to spend time here and to add value to Indonesia by working on projects that are valuable to you. And Paco Soto, thanks so much for your role in helping make that possible. Um, you know, the ambassador mentioned, and I think this, is, this has just got to be true, that for a country like the United States, the rise of Indonesia is just an incredible opportunity. You know, I, I think I'll mention in the growth panel that um, I saw a, a gra really good graphic last week which was projecting the size of economies in the world from today to the end of the 21st century. And the snapshot today, it was only the top 10 economies in the world. The snapshot today does not have Indonesia in it. Uh, Indonesia is somewhere between 13 and 16 in terms of economic size in the world, at least if you do it at market exchange rates for the economists in the room. Um, but just like the ambitions of this country for 2045 in the centenary, Goldman Sachs predicts that Indonesia will be the number four economy in the world by 2050. Um, and I think that that will just create more win-win opportunities for USC and the Marshall School here. I know we will benefit from the rise of Indonesia, but I hope we can contribute to it as well. Um, I also wanted to say that my thinking about the future of the business world actually has been really heavily shaped by the time I've spent here in the past couple of years uh, on two dimensions. Uh, the first one is sustainable and inclusive growth. Uh, we all announce a big initiative at the Marshall School in the fall on that. And just being able to participate here in the way people are thinking about growth not only for, for itself, but growth for everybody in an inclusivity sense and growth that's gonna be sustainable for the planet, that's really influenced my thinking. The second area, equally important, and I know incredibly important here, I, I've had the good fortune to speak with Park Boy quite a bit about this in the last 48 hours, but energy transition, and in particular, the role of the private sector in energy transition, is going to be globally so important. It's going to be important for the Marshall School, and I've learned a lot about that because of its importance to Indonesia. So for me, the opportunities here are incredible, but the only way we can realize the full opportunities is by linking hands and doing things together. And that's why it was so fantastic for me to be the interloper in a ceremony last night between the Tohir Foundation and ALSI where I was the, the marriage celebrant to celebrate this incredible new uh, scholarship that's gonna be created um, to help Indonesian students 
defray the costs, the high costs of an American education to go to USC to get a Marshall uh, Iber MBA. But I was just saying to the ambassador before we came up that I was so impressed, Puck Boy, with how you thought about this. Um, your desire to give back to the country is at the core of who you are. And so the fact that you wanted ALSI to be the manager of the scholarships, but also insist that the, the people who get the benefit of a USC degree come back to Indonesia to make a, contrib a greater contribution to the country, I think that's just a fantastic situation. And, you know, I think my, my, um, my worldview is always to look for win-wins. Um, in my personal life, in my professional life, win-wins is where it's at for me. But there's, some, there's only one thing better than a win-win, which is a win-win-win. And I think uh, these scholarships certainly are a win-win-win. First, they're a win for the students who are the recipients. People are going to be able to come to the Marshall School in Los Angeles who would otherwise have never dreamt it because it wouldn't have been financially possible for them. Second, it's a win for us at Marshall because we'll get incredibly talented students who will also bring perspectives to the campus that we otherwise would not have, so we'll benefit enormously from. But the last win, and this was Puck Boy's uh, insistence, is that I hope these scholarships are a win for Indonesia as well. Um, because the scholarship recipients will come back to this country with what they've learned, the new experience they've, they've gotten, and enrich Indonesia as a result. Now, the scholarships, I, I, I th when I first heard what the scholarships were going to be called, Tamba, I thought, okay, that makes sense. Tahir Ausi MBA. What I didn't realize until Dick Drobnik, who is uh, far more uh, fluent in Bahasa than he likes to let on, uh, told me that Tamba also means um, to add more, Dick, is that, the, is that the term? So I have no doubt that these Tamba, these Tamba scholarships are going to add more. And just a little tease for later on, some of the add more might happen sooner rather than later. So. Uh, I'm not going to say any more. I see there are some smiles in the room, but I'm not going to say anything else. So um, let, me, let me end. I've already overstayed my welcome at the podium, and I'm going to be back for a couple of the panels. But let me end with the three most important words. The first important word is congratulations. Congratulations to everybody associated with ALSI for putting on this incredible event. Second word, which I have to hyphenate to make one word, is thank you. Thank you to everyone associated with this event for all of the vision you had and all of the hard work you've put in to make this possible. And the last word, and I promise this is the last word, the last word is welcome. Welcome to this incredible event that will have a fantastic balance between intellectual content and a wonderful party. So on behalf of the Marshall School, uh, again, I just couldn't be more pleased to be part of this event. I think we have, do we have gongs now? We're gonna get the party started, I gather, in a, in a really Indonesian way, so let me leave the, the mic and put it back in the, the hands of our most capable um, MC. But again, this is my third visit. One, two, three, uh, in 18 months. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dean. Please remain on stage, Dean.